Good morning, Lori Nestori here, CEO of Eva's Aesthetics with my morning routine. Now it is completely different from the evening as far as the washing goes because it's just milk or gel. If you have oily or acne skin, which Patty's going to do in a different series for you, you do combine the herbalizer with it. But I'm more of a one-step girl, so I just use the cleansing milk in the shower and then every now and then I'm going to use the peeling cream with it. There's two different ways you can do it. You can put the cleansing milk on, rinse it off, and then you can do the peeling cream as a second step. I tend to be ever so slightly lazy and layer them and rinse them off all at once. So I'm just going to show you how I do it in the shower. And ultimately I do feel like the peeling cream, which is a friction scrub, is more effective on younger skin, but it feels really good. So I still like to do it maybe once a week and then I do my glycolic two or three times a week like to maintain the exfoliation on my skin. So you get in the shower. This, unlike the cleansing oil, doesn't matter if your hands and your face are wet. So I'm just gonna get a little cleansing milk and it is pretty much surface cleansing. It's just what happened in, you know, during the night, which generally speaking is not that much. So, massage that in for a few seconds. And like I said, you can just add some peeling cream directly over it. It is very fine grit. Or you can rinse off the cleansing milk and do it as a second step. But I think a lot of us just wish to get the job done. And if it does get the job done, then why do it in two steps? So the morning routine is really very, very simple. It is just simply a matter of just cleaning your skin. There's no makeup to remove. Not much to do. So it is definitely an easier clean in the morning. And we get the excess water off our face when we're done with our shower. We get it all over the table because it looks so good on film for you. But when you get out of the shower, you don't actually have to completely dry your skin. And in fact, when you're talking about certain things like um, essential oils that are better absorbed with a little bit of water to carry them, it's almost better if you do leave your skin a little bit moist. I know for my body, using the hydrating body tonic, I barely towel dry before I put on my hydrating body tonic. So. I'm out of the shower, my skin is scrubbed, cleansing milk. I'm going to use my Crystal C. And as I do in the evening, you carry your stuff all the way down, neck and decollete. You younger girls that are watching this, immediately start doing this because I'll tell you what, this shows it faster than this does. So, Crystal C, and you don't have to wait for anything to dry, you can simply layer. So, Crystal C, and then I put my essential oil on right on over. Don't get too close to your eyes with the essential oil. It's really quite strong and it will, it will sting. I mean, just the fumes, the aroma will actually sting. So I'm going to use some of the Eye Plus Lotion. Um, both of our eye products, whether it's the Glorious Gold or the Eye Plus, are very, used very tiny amounts and it goes directly on the eyelid and underneath and then over the lips. Uh, at night, I'm going to use Hydrate, but during the day, I use Absorb. And even though in theory, Absorb is um, a, there's a couple different ways to describe it, mattifier, in other words, it helps prevent your face from getting oily during the day and hold your makeup on better. We have found that regardless of your skin type, whether you're dry or combo or oily, it is a humectant. It does add moisture to the skin like hydrate and then your makeup just lives better. So a little bit of hydrate, I mean, excuse me, a little bit of absorb and that goes all over. And I will let this soak in for just a second while I'm doing something on my body, one of the many layers on my body before I finish with the sun care. And sun care, I don't care what, is always your your most critical finishing step. You do get quite a lot. I put it all over. 
the back of the neck because I have short hair so that I make sure that when I'm putting on my sun care it isn't just just on my face but it is also if you have really short hair you want to do your ears the tops of your ears and around and your arms as well and including your hands because even driving to work you have sun exposure so that's my morning routine it is interesting as we get older we use more products but I will tell you when you learn how to layer them it really only takes you seconds to have fabulous skin like this try it at home you'll love it